from the love boat to happy days to married with children, Ted McGinley has been in a charming face in some of the greatest TV comedies of all time. And in his new show, The Baxters, he's bringing that charm to a family drama. Earlier, we spoke with him all about it. Take a look. The way he looked at Carrie is the same way that you always look at me. I thank God every day for giving me more time with you. Please welcome to the show, Ted McGinley. Yes. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> hey everybody, thank you so much for having me. Oh, Appreciate thank it. you for being here. So let's get to it because Ted, you've always been an incredible comedic actor, yes. but a lot of the scenes in the Baxters are super serious. So are you still making people laugh between takes? Uh, I would say that's probably true on the Baxters <laughs> because we deal with a lot of very serious issues uh, that the in-between is important to make people still enjoy being in the space. So yeah, we had a great time making it. Uh, Roma Downey is an amazing partner to work with and boss, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, but we laughed all the time. Let's get to some of my favorite characters that you played. You played so many over the years, but Jefferson Darcy in Married with Children was hilarious. What was your trick to playing such a funny guy? It, it kind of just seems like that's who you are. Jefferson was uh, driven by the fact that he didn't want to do anything. <laughs> and so he couldn't wait to get Marcy out of the house, and then he had a separate life going on. But he would get Marcy out to work, and then Jefferson's life would come to life. Uh, so Jefferson was all about trying to not do anything. Uh, he's a bit of a gigolo. So uh, uh, there's a little bit of me in that. Yeah, how about him being physical? Because you're physically funny as well. Did you do a lot of your own stunts, stunts with Jefferson? I did, yeah. I, I, I mean, I always, uh, in everything I do, I like to try to do them. Uh, it's, it's kind of one of the fun pieces of the business. Uh, and as you get older, it's probably harder and harder to recover when you screw up. <laughs> uh, but I still do enjoy doing it. The only stunts that he didn't do is when he fell off the roof. <laughs> Anytime you watch Married with Children, you saw a dummy come off the roof. If you watch the cast, if you watch the people, they would turn away from the camera to see it, but mean they were actually dying laughing until they were hiding. <laughs> That's funny. The little inside, yeah. That's funny. Inside. Well played though, well played. Yeah. Don't be falling off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously you're known for being Stan Gable in Revenge of the Nerds, <laughs> and you were an actual frat bro in real life, yeah. so did this make things easier? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I knew the world very well. Uh, when I stepped into it. And I would say I probably knew it as maybe better than anybody because I had just finished living it. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, uh, and uh, it's one of those fantasies where you get to say all the things you don't get to say in real life. So that's fun. Like, it's the great... I would rather play a bad guy any day of my life. Or, or I, you know, I mean, I think that that's more... My friends would tell you that's probably more of who I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, the Jefferson. All right, your first acting gig was actually in Happy Days when they brought you yeah. in as the nephew. Were you, was it Nervous Days? Instead, of, were you so nervous about being on such an iconic show? Yes. Okay. It, yes. So we did, it, we did it in front of a live audience. Oh, yeah. So all, it wasn't just, you know, I was now all of a sudden in front of a camera and working with people who, who I remember running home from school from workouts in the evening so I could get home in time to see the show on television. Whoa. Now all of a sudden I'm standing there with them. That's and I have no train I don't I have no idea what I'm doing. So uh, my biggest fear was that I would walk out on stage and then I would just faint. <laughs> just and, collapse. And, yes, and that was a real fear. Like I'm not kidding. I was scared to death that I was just gonna faint. Oh wow. And I thought, well, if I do it once, they'll fire me. Henry Winkler was very generous to me. Poor Henry had to work opposite me. Uh, so I mean, it was survival. He had to help me get through it. But he was generous. I learned it was like a great acting school mm. from some of the best actors in the world. It wow. was phenomenal. I'm loving all the behind the scenes stuff. That's my favorite. But something I never knew well, about I never knew about you, Ted. You were a model before you got into acting. You were actually in GQ. I think we got a picture right here. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. I so, love the fit. How did you? How did you yeah. yeah how'd oh, you, my. That's yeah. some good stuff. So you're not, you weren't just a model. You were a mactor. You were a well, mactor yeah. right there. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. In the day when you made the transition, uh, and there weren't that many guys, I guess, making that transition at the time. But when I when I went from modeling to acting, and I only did it for like a year, I guess, year and a half. But 
when I made the transition, you stopped talking about it because you didn't want to be thought of as a model. <laughs> you had to be thought of as an actor. Now it's, you can transition, you can go back. People are doing, they're doing it all. And, and it, it was, uh, so now I, I keep thinking, I should get some of these pictures out there in the world. Mm. You know what so I never you. knew about that world, Al? Remember this look when you'd hold your inside of your yeah, sleeve you, you, and you'd look off? Who does that in real life? Why do we always do I, that for modeling? I, but I would like to see Ted do that move for us <laughs> Can right we see now. You Could model right maybe now? Maybe let me just tell you, that move is actually gas. <laughs> yeah, that's gas. I'm just saying, it's nothing that? for work. <laughs> Ted, yeah. you've been a gas. Thank you so much. DBL Nation, do not miss The Baxters. It's premiering March 28th on Prime Video. Thank you so much again.